Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Daily Chalk series where we discuss life and inspirations. Today, I'm going to discuss how to make a vision board. For those who don't know what's a vision board, it is where we put your visions. <gasps> but really, it is where we put our visions into a physical thing, the board. According to Oxford, a vision board is a collage of images and words representing a person's wishes or goals, intended to serve as an inspiration or motivation. A little backstory, I started creating my vision board since 2020 with the help of our great friends, Ace and Jock who taught me and my husband how to properly do it. Thank you guys so much for this. But I really just did plan every year, the first week of January. I think growing up, it was already in my system. Because in school, we usually do a New Year's resolution essay on the first day of classes after Christmas break. Plus, when I became a Christian, we usually do Faith Goes every year. So I think I have a little knowledge of it at the back of my mind without knowing what is really it. And this is how I managed to create my vision board. For me, it is a combination of my faith goals, plans for life, and visions I want to manifest for the coming years. This is just me. You can search in the internet and, and it has a wide scope of resources to how to create. But for people and friends who's asking how do I do one, or maybe amazed on my vision board when they visited our house, or when maybe I show some glimpse of my vision board to them, this is it. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert on this. I've known people who really master doing this thing, but I'm gonna share you how I do my vision board. Maybe I can encourage you in doing yours too. It helped me in most decisions in my life lately and root myself to the direction towards my goals. Basically, you need a paper, a board, a cork board or whatever board that you want to put it in, pens or markers, photos that represent your visions. And as for me, I do it first in Canva and later on uh, I'm gonna print it out cut it out and do it in a bigger board but I usually do it in Canva so that I can save it on my phone or on my laptop screensaver and all so I really love designing in this platform you can do it in whatever materials that you have there's no rule book for this as long as you live with it you'll be fine the goal is to put your visions into life. So as I design my vision board here in Canva, I'll share some tips that can help you in doing yours. First thing is I really pray to God. In whatever I do, I pray because I have faith and I need His divine guidance in everything. Specifically in planning my life out. You know, ayaw naman natin mag or gawin ang mga bagay na hindi according sa will ni Lord, di ba? And then next is I reflect. Like, I give few minutes to just think about what happened last year or what are the things I should change or improve, what are the things that I should continue, or what are the things that I think I'm in that direction but God put me in another direction or allowed it to happen, what was successful and what was not. I take time to reflect, but I don't linger too much because it will kill my drive to be hopeful. This is just me. And then I start asking myself with questions. What are the things I want to achieve this year? What do I see myself at the end of this year? Or in two years? Or in three years? Or in the long term? Or what are the things I want to have this year? What should I invest this year? What do I really want in life? By the way, vision board is like um, a work in progress every year. It's not like mag expire siya ng one year tas tapos na pag di mo nagawa yung mga yun, parang you will be um, devastated. It's not. It's just you're gonna continue it as long as long as it's aligned in the will of God for your life, just continue believing, claiming, and having or manifesting that in your life. When I figured that out, those reflections and questions and answers to the questions, when I figured that out, I put, my, I put some of my whys in my board, but I have all my reasons on my planner. I just put the most important reason on my board so that whenever I have look at it, I will be reminded why I like this or why I'm doing this for this. So, yeah. Then, the next is planning out my actions. What should I do to make this happen? Even though I know that God will do this for me or will allow this happen for me, I need to do my part. What should I do? How can I help? How can this picture become a reality? How can I manifest this and that? So, I start to plan things out. The detailed planning will be listed in my planner. Things in the vision board should be easily read. And that's it. 
those are the things that you can consider in doing a vision board but that's just the creating part it's just the beginning you need to back it up with your actions you need to change your perspective if needed you need to be fully aware that this is your goal this is what you want in life this is going to happen you have to claim it you have that you have to have that positive attitude or thinking about your visions about your goals in life that's why adding positive words in your vision board can help you so when there's a time that you need to decide on things or you are being challenged with some situations just look up to your board and you will be reminded for example one of my goals is to have kids five kids to be exact i know i'm going to be a mother i see myself as a mom so any offer that goes along the way that would affect that vision that goal will be a no for me so if anyone asks me, hiring kami ngayon, mabilisan lang, work ka na dito sa abroad since kasign ka naman na sa DepEd and all. Kahit maganda pa yung opportunity na yon, guys, it's really a no for me. Kasi alam ko yung goal ko for this year and the coming years. If I say yes to that, I'll be separated with my husband. So paano kami makakabuo ng 5 kids kung malayo kami sa isa't isa? ba? Tapos ikokontest pa yan ng temptation sa minds mo. Sa mind more voices in your mind. Pwede, ka naman, pwede naman siya sumunod or like, doon na lang din siya mag-work and all. The thing is, yun ba yung goal ni husband mo din? Yun din ba yung vision niya for himself? Napag-usapan ba yan? So, you have to align in everything. Vision board, lalo na kung married ka na, di ba? You have to talk with your spouse before doing such action, right? So, vision board helps us to know our focus. It helps us to process things first before saying yes to anything. Another quick example is that I have a friend, a stu- um, I have a friend studying engineering. One of the visions she has is by passing the board exam. She posted a picture of herself holding a license, manifesting that she'll be a board passer. So every time she'll be tired up of the reviews and be discouraged with so many things, she knows this will happen. She knows she will be an engineer. So there's no stopping her in doing her best to achieve it. And yeah, so that would be like a great way of redirection every time that you will be out of your focus and all a vision board will help you do that so as jocelyn o'malley explained it to me vision board is a dream with an action plan you're creating a picture in your mind that would affect your actions and behavior to manifest it in your life now i'm done with my vision board i can save this on my phone as i said a while ago be a screen saver in my mobile or in my laptop or print this and put it in a frame. It's all up to you actually. But you can do also a traditional vision board where your creative mind is your limit. I hope you've learned something in this video. I pray that you can start creating your vision board too. Because it really helps guys. And that soon you'll manifest it in your life. Claiming that for you friend. So thanks for the idea of pushing me to do this video of like how do you do your your vision board i really enjoyed sharing this with you guys so thank you for watching see you in the next videos bye